what we are doing today, with the help of my lovely assistant, is uh, we're taking a break from the driving is because the uh, technician, that's me, is waiting on the uh, research and development department, which is also me, to finish the tools needed to complete that project there so that uh, we can get it back to the owner. But uh, I can't do that until research and development is done. Anyway, um, what we're doing today is we're checking the uh, tension of the strings in relation to the scale of the guitar, um, primarily between this here 25 and a half inch scale Strat style guitar and that 24 and 3 quarter inch scale Epiphone Les Paul. So, um, it has been said both ways that uh, it's harder to bend the strings on a longer scale and it's harder to bend the strings on a shorter scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure the tension of the strings um, with that scale over there at an equal point on each guitar. So um, with that we'll get with it and we'll see if one has more tension than the other or if they are the same or close or what. So stay tuned for all the fun. Okay we're ready to start measuring but before we do go over some of the specifics on each guitar. Um, the uh, Les Paul and the Strat both have a 17 gauge G string which is the string I'll be working with here. Um, the scale on the uh, Strat as we discussed is a 25 and a half inch scale on the Les Paul it's a 24 and 3 quarter so the Les Paul is shorter um, both have um, 5 64ths action from the top of the fret bar to the top of the string so it's 5 64ths so there's no difference in the, the height of the strings from the, the uh, neck um, the uh, scale from the nut to the 12th on the Les Paul is 12 and 3 eighths and on the Strat it is 12 and 3 fourths that's from the nut to this fret bar the 12th fret so um, one other difference is that uh, because of the uh, tremolo over here um, and because I'm going by how far it has to move to achieve a half step bend it uh, on the uh, strat the string has to move in relation to I've measured from the B string in relation to the B string 23 30 seconds so and the reason for that is if you can see the bar here you can see it moving there so the the uh, tremolo is absorbing some of the uh, tension so to get a, a half inch or a half step bend um, on the strat with the tremolo it has to go 23 30 seconds on the Les Paul it is only 20 30 seconds to get a half step bend both are tuned to pitch 440 standard so um, with that we'll uh, go ahead and measure the uh, G string on this particular guitar the Strat and hopefully you can see that you probably can't but I'll be honest in my reporting so I'm going to uh, pull it up until the uh, string hits the bottom of that thing which is set at um, 23 30 seconds and what we have is roughly So off the charts, it is at, I'm 
shaking because it's hard to hold it this way. Over a thousand um, grams to pull it up. Let's do it one more time. Make sure this thing's nice and loose. Let's double check it. Make sure that we're not uh, all messed up here. Oops. Yep, it is bouncing at over a thousand. If I was to guess, it'd be a thousand forty. One thousand and forty grams. So on the strat, we are right about in here, which um, each one of these marks is 20. So I'm thinking 1,020, 40. That's where I got my 1,040 at. Um, hopefully this is, isn't even further off the scale, but first we have to move this here down to 20. 30 seconds that's where um, the distance from the B string where I achieved a uh, half step bend on the 12th fret so moving it up like this so anyway let's get with this one we're going to put this on at the 12th fret okie dokie this is something I always wanted to do because I remember someone that owns a music store telling me that the smaller, shorter the scale, the higher tension on the strings, harder it is to bend them. So we are pulling it up to the 20 mark and we are at roughly 860. So we'll do that again in a second here so uh, 860 I'm gonna do it one more time yes right now double check it measure twice and tell the truth okay so oops I gotta make sure that things work Roughly 860. Okay, time to unpack this. Um, two guitars. Action is identical. Um, two different uh, scale lengths, one longer than the other. Um, other measurements are uh, just to note that the uh, B to G string measurement at rest is um, the same and uh, but when bending to a half step on the strat I had to move it 23 30 seconds to get a half step bend and on the Paul was only 20 30 seconds it's a difference of 3 30 seconds no big deal this just in after I was finished filming, I realized a flaw in my measurements. I had failed to subtract the 1130 seconds at rest distance between the B and G strings from a half step, or tone if you prefer, measurement. After adjusting the measurements, the strat half tone bend is 1230 seconds, and the Les Paul is 930 seconds. I then remeasured the weights. The strap pulled to 1230 seconds measured 420 grams and the Paul pulled to 930 seconds measured 280 grams. The difference was 140 grams so the Strat has to pull 140 more grams to reach the same half tone bend as the Paul. Thank you and good night. So in conclusion the longer the scale length, the higher the uh, tension is in the string, or strings in general. Um, and this is not to say that one guitar is better than the other. 
They're both fantastic guitars, fantastic designs that have impacted music for decades. I love them both, but I like the Strat more. Um, so, <clears throat> anyway, with that, um, thanks for watching. And uh, comment with your arguments, if you please. Toodles.